Getting the Dow on track for its best week in two years as we get ready to wrap up another wild month for the markets. Bob Pisani is at the New York Stock Exchange with more on that. Hey, Bob. Hello, Melissa. You know, it's been a wild month for the Dow. The Dow is up almost 1% or 220 points this month. That doesn't really tell the story. That's nothing. The Dow has traded in a 2,000-point range this month. That's about an 8% from the high to the low. But despite a modest rebound, there's been a lot of damage done. So take a look here. There's six Dow stocks, Goldman, IBM, DuPont, Caterpillar, Apple, 3M. They're all in bear market territory, down 20% from their 52-week highs. And there's nine other components, including Home Depot and Intel, that are in correction territory, 10 to 20% off their 52-week highs. Now, that means half of the Dow is either in correction or bear market territory. Now, much of this damage did not just occur this month. The bank stocks like J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and Goldman, they all peaked way back in March. They've been weaker as rates have stalled out and loan growth has been fairly anemic. Really, it's the same story with the industrials and the materials like Caterpillar and 3M and Dow DuPont. They all peaked essentially in the first quarter, and they began dropping on trade concerns many, many months ago. But big cap growth tech names like Apple and Microsoft, Cisco, they all held up really well. They were the big market movers going into the fourth quarter, and that's when they started encountering big problems right at the beginning of October. All of Apple's decline has occurred since October 1st. Microsoft, by the way, which briefly passed Apple as the largest company in the S&P 500, dropped 13% this quarter as well. But it staged a remarkable comeback in the last seven, eight trading days. It's now down only 3% for the quarter. Melissa, we're about to start the NYSE Christmas party, and I wish all you guys were down here with me. Maybe next year you can come down here and all right. well, enjoy, have a Bob. celebration with us. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bob Pisani at the NYSE. So given all these moves, we thought it would be the perfect time to play a little... Deal or no deal. And who better to do that than the deal or no deal host and executive producer himself, Howie Mandel. Welcome, Howie, to the show. We want to go through the rules here. Here's how it's going to work. Guy over there, he's going to be the contestant for today. You see he's with Howie. Each of the traders here on the desk will hold up a case. Guy will pick the trader, and they will reveal the stock and its closing price. And then Guy will decide if it is a deal, meaning a buy at the current levels, or no deal, meaning it's got more room to fall. All right, everybody got the rules, set with their cases. Howie, take it away. Take it away. You just explained everything. <laughs> the idea is for me to explain. So did you hear what she said? Yeah, but I'm not that bright, Howie. Can you just give you me one? Did you not understand? So there are they got three cases. Yeah. Each of those cases is holding the name of the stock. I'm going to ask you deal. I'm first going to ask you to pick a case. I'm going to say deal or no deal. You're going to tell us whether it's a deal, whether we should buy it, or is it still going down at no deal. You ready? Got it. By the way, before we start, yeah. happy birthday. You know, we've had monarchs, kings, heads of state. Right. <laughs> You're Howie Mandel. I know. I, I mean, you're, the, you're the biggest star we've ever had. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Is that a compliment to me, or am I doing <laughs> a show? It's an indictment of the show. Wants to do? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Ding, ding, I guess ding. I'm the real deal. Okay. So uh, normally I'd interview you, but they all know you. Yeah, well, of course. But I'm going to tell you to pick a case. There are three cases. Look at our lovely models today. Pick a case. Pick a number. Help me, Howie, please. It's so hard to pick between the three. Just help me to pick one, please. I'm asking you. Are you serious? Is that no, I'm not, no, I'm not really. Oh, I'm I a, smell can Emmy I, here. Can I pick? You guys have been pra I just got here. You've been practicing all day. I, you know what case you're going to pick. Well, I, oh, <laughs> I want to pick Karen. Karen's my, always been my favorite. Karen. Yes. Karen, you're Open your case. Wait. Oh, I'm the host. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I even here? I don't know how. That's sorry. why I'm the most important guest you've ever had Jeez. on the show. No, you already said, listen to him, Karen. You work with him. I'm going to be gone tomorrow. Go ahead. <laughs> he said, open the case. Open your case. It's Apple. Ooh. So I'm going to ask you. So Apple closed, I think it says 179.55, right? Mm hmm. Deal or no deal? It's so hard for me to pick. Deal. I'm going to say deal. And this is why I'm going to say deal. Listen, I've been wrong on this stock for quite some time, Howie. You watch the show, so you know. I do. But the other day, President Trump tweeted about Apple. And if you go back and look, he tweeted about Boeing. After that, the stock went straight up. Lockheed Martin, the same thing. And the same thing happened with what? Pfizer. So I, I say, say deal. He's tweeted about Rosie O'Donnell. I don't see her anywhere. Excellent point okay. by you. All right. So, <laughs> deal. Oh, deal. Okay, so buy. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. I'm talking to people like but I have gotta, people. But you got to hear from the other traders. Okay. Why don't we find out what the other traders, traders think? Okay. The next one, you got to pick a case, right? No, you got to. Oh, Tim's got it. So what does oh, Tim, Tim say? Uh, who's Tim? Tim is over at the desk. Oh, well, oh, there you are. <laughs> what are you going to say? Deal. Deal. Deal, Howie. I tell you what, I love Apple here. Deal. 
Okay, this is so different than the real game. Well, <laughs> you just, you have to I'm so confused. Ask Karen, I'm what, ask Karen figure... what she wants to do. Karen, this what do you this will do? make the real game show look even better. That's what you give your people. That's the, it, this is part of the ad. It okay, is. Karen, right. what do you what, say? Deal I want to know deal. Deal, I mean, I own it, so I better want deal. So I own it. I think the valuation here is attractive. I understand the headwinds here, but ultimately, I'm a value girl. Nice. Yes, that's what everybody says. Dan. Yeah, so Dan. I, I'm a deal oh, with this here, but I think you're actually going to have to start working in dollar cost averaging on this thing. I think it has lower lows, but I think this is where you want to start dealing this name. You know what I noticed here? Consistency. No. Everybody is in, this, in line. Consistency so, is a moving target, though, as you know. I do know that. Yeah. I've always said that. I've always said that. And people say, why are you saying that? Just get out of the elevator. Let's do. Anyway, <laughs> it's time to pick your second case. Well, you know, it's hard for me to pick Dan and Tim. Dan, please. Sure. Okay, open. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen no, the show? No, I don't know what to no. tell you. Okay. It's like it working with babies and animals. <laughs> and, and so, deal or no deal? In this case, Howie, I'm away. glad you asked. No deal. I, I think this Malaysia thing's a big deal. I think the headlines are going to get worse. I think the stock goes down. And you can see the chart we have here. This is not attractive. I mean, that's not good. You see the way that sucker goes straight down? No deal. Wow. I'm like the Vanna White of NASDAQ now. Okay, no deal. And what do you guys think? Who goes first? No deal, Tim. Howie. Tim. Bottom line is if guy doesn't like Goldman Sachs, I don't like Goldman Sachs. No deal. No deal. Okay, Karen. Yeah, I'm going to go against the green here, and I'm going to say deal. I mean, wow. this is a premier franchise that we know it's sitting right near book, which is amazing. The valuation to me on a PE basis is ridiculously low. It has priced in a gigantic penalty from the Malaysia situation already. And Dan? Yeah, so uh, I'm no deal, Howie, uh, and I just think that it's actually pricing in a much more challenging 2019 environment, and I think it's a value trap. I don't understand the reason why Karen likes it. I just don't see any catalyst into the new year, so I'm no deal. Oh, wow. So there's a little, not everybody's consistent. No. But you said that's good when they're well, not. Okay. Do you well, agree you, with everybody? Sometimes consistency is a moving target. Other times, you know, you never know. You never know. I, I like, do. you know, I like everybody. So. Okay. It's time you pick your last case. <sighs> well, there's only one left. Howie, I'm only listening to you, by the way. <laughs> so I'm going to wait. <laughs> Open the case. And I'm going to wait. Woo! <laughs> Caterpillar. It's trading at, I can't see it, 130.23 today. It's 30 seconds on the clock. Deal or no deal? Now, you've been watching the show, and you heard me say that I think there's a chance that President Trump and President Xi, after this we can come out, arms around each other. You know, we have a thing for a deal going forward. If that happens, Caterpillar is going to rally hard. So, Howie, I say deal. Wow. So yeah. let's find out what everybody else. They're going to have them arms around each other. Spooning. I believe so. Spooning. Yeah. I think that would be great. A tragic. tiny spoon deal. I'm and not what spooning you Dan. Oh, you're saying no deal. You're going with them. Uh, yeah, no, no deal, Howie. Look, bottom line here is if the global growth is slowing, Caterpillar is going to be right in the line of that slower growth. No deal. Don't like the valuation. Okay, Karen? Yeah, I'm going to say deal. If you look at the chart, it started trading down with tariffs got going. I agree with Guy's analysis. They come out. Hugging, whatever, however, in whatever way they choose to show affection, which is fine. I think the stock rallies. <laughs> and matter. Dan? Yeah, so, Howie, I think no deal here for a lot of the reasons that Tim cited. Um, and so here's a stock that's down 17%. Again, like Goldman, I think it's actually uh, telling us what the 2019 global economy is going to look like here. Wow. Is it just me or is Karen a rebel? Without a cause. Every like, single day, Howie. James and the smartest Dean one on the desk. Money. Oh, did I say that or did I think no. that in my head?